How's it going traders? I've been trading for eight years now. I am 25 years of age, withdrawing hundreds of thousands of dollars from prop firms themselves, receiving payouts with no issues. A huge storm has happened in the prop industry. MFF, also known as my Forex funds, have gone into a massive lawsuit. Company closed down by Canada and United States. There's so many reasons for why they've been closed down. Let me just get straight into the main reason why they've been closed down. This prop firm was legit at first, but the CEO, he has been caught out. After messages were leaked from the group chat on the staff page, you can clearly see it said slip to hell. Funded traders from MFF were making six figures. You had the best rules in the prop industry. They had 12% drawdown. They had quick payouts. They were blowing up within Every single month, they were hitting the highest engagement of traffic clicks per month on Google. They were getting hundreds of millions of dollars worth of sales every single month from people like yourself, trying to become something that you haven't already got. Being a funded trader has huge opportunity to every single trader out there, which is why it is the keyest thing now in this industry to be a funded trader with a prop firm of your choice. Because MFF, has their own servers. They buy the MT4 licensing and MT5 licensing with a server hosting, allowing them to produce their own challenge accounts, where this is not a problem. The problem with this is they can customize their set rules. They can apply more slippage to the account. They can even wick out manually bonded traders accounts. And this is exactly what was happening. The craziest thing about this is you didn't hear scenarios from any funded traders about this incident, which goes to prove, number one, how big MFF actually was, and number two, how hard it is to see if these prop firms are legit or not. You would never have thought MFF were doing such thing. The owner got caught buying Bagatti's, tens of million dollars worth of property, transferring it into his own account, buying the most expensive cars that he could buy, funding an insane lifestyle. The issue that MFF have faced is number one, the whole scam in their funded traders. When a trader's in profit, let's say 50K, they'll go, okay, we need to slip him out so that he fails his account, it breaches, bang, straight into it. The issue which you will now have with prop firms is they have to be FCA regulated brokers. For example, E8, okay? Let me know in the comments down below because I've got a bunch of content on E8. Their slippage is disgusting. They slip out different areas on the market where your trade is if you're using high lot size this the, the slip is just disgusting there'll be two trades same trades yet they'll have different closing prices they will close your trade out before it's even hit the actual price in the market now i even got proof of this and after mff after all this situation with mff has happened ea i went to the live support told them about the situation with mff and that i've faced the same situation with you guys here at EA and literally the customer support person just laughed and closed the chat called Martin by the way and I was going to make a video on EA months ago because they have been doing this for such a long time and there's so many credible traders who can vouch this so let me know in the comments down below if you've experienced this with EA the whole point of what I'm getting to is when they're buying their own servers like the MFF, like the FTMO not saying FTMO are a scam by the way because I've had no problems with FTMO in the, in the past but it is becoming a problem. So let me use an example, the Forex funder. They're using an FCA regulated broker, which is based in Dubai. Now, Dubai is a safe country, okay? United States and Canada. They are the two countries that are a no-show for prop firms. So let me just, I can give you a bunch of prop firms in the United States registered. I'm sure you guys know all of the Miami people. They've all got their companies registered in those countries. They're going to get shut down at some point. Trust me, it is coming. If everyone thinks that it's just MFF that's going to be affected, it won't be. Okay, yes, MFF is a different situation because they were literally scamming their funded traders, scamming people hundreds of millions of dollars. That is a massive no-go in any sort of industry that you're in. But regulations will start to be stricter and that's okay if you are a legitimacy prop firm let them investigate you it is not going to be a problem because legitimacy 
is one of the keyest things that this industry needs. Moving forward with which prop firm should you be choosing, there are a bunch of prop firms. I still believe FTMO is a great prop firm. The Forex funder has the best prices. They've got 12% drawdown, 8% profit target. You get phase one instantly, phase two instantly. Funded might take one or two days, depending on how many people are getting funded, but they are the most reasonable price and legitimacy prop firm based in the London as well. So you know that there's not gonna be any problems. You must focus on the countries that aren't in battle. It's a scary thought what's happened, and it's a scary thing that's even, that it's even happened, to be fair. I don't really know what to say much more on. I wanna make sure that if you are trading prop firms, you need to do your due diligence. And what I mean by this is, look at their reviews. Search up on YouTube who is doing the reviews. If it is an FX influencer, okay, and they have an affiliate with the prop firm, they are getting paid to promote. This is not a true review. And that is just how it is. So you must be so careful about what is actually going on with these prop firms, ins and outs and all that sort of stuff. A lot of prop firms I'm seeing as well, lying about how much money that they're turning over, that they're paying out. Yet when they get investigated, you'll see the figures and it will not be as much as what they are saying. So you need to keep into mind that yes, you can still trade prop firms. Yes, you can still become very, very rich through prop firm trading. That's the whole point of the company industry basis. You know, you small investments for big capital gains, but you must keep in mind that it is a touchy subject right now with MFF getting terminated and they actually have been fully terminated now I don't think they're gonna be coming back They they are fighting out in court we all know the owners guy in prison he's a scammer and I still don't understand it baffles my mentality why if you are making hundreds of millions of dollars why are you going to scam people it makes no sense you shouldn't scam anyway but if you're making that much money why get greedy and i just it, i just i'd just love to have a one-on-one -on -one with him which will never happen but it, it just blows my mind and i'm sure everyone can everyone can agree mff they were a great company look at their google analytics they are working increasing company they took over ftmo flying through the ranks and little did we all know they are scamming bastards haven't really got much more to say all i do know is and i know this is a bit of a promo like i said you know you got to investigate into these prop firms but for real the forex funder they've been going for nearly two years now coming up to two years unlike some of these prop firms that have just been around for two or three months being pumped by engagement with their influencers as influencers that own the prop firm which doesn't make it legit there's so many prop firms i'm looking on twitter that other traders are like not even getting paid out on it's crazy what's going on in the industry so you need to actually just pick one or two prop firms that you want to be funded with and stick to them get payout make sure they're legit and then keep with that certain prop firm it's up to you who you use but like i just said the forex funder check out their youtube channel you know enough said they're doing live streams every single day they're doing payout interviews and if you look how many prop firms are even doing payout interviews? Do you know why? Because I can tell you why. It's so hard to get an individual trader who is not an influencer to do a payout interview. But there are out there and TFF are paying out every single day. And look, they've only produced one in a month or so. That is how difficult it is to actually find traders. With all this being said, stay safe trading Forex. A lot's been going on in the industry and I want everyone to make sure that they are not going to get messed about with any sort of prop firms. In the comments down below, tell me what prop firm you're using and if you had any problems with them at all. Stay safe. I'm only trying to look out for everyone. And yeah, I actually lost $225,000 trading gold this week. So I've taken a bit of a break and I will make a video on it. Transparency is key. And my tattoo artist told me to, so I'm going to do that too. I'm 25 years of age, losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just support me, please. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>